he's here. So he's here. We are in unprecedented times currently, and throughout the paranormal community, we see a slowdown in location work and a catch up on past visits. Obviously, this is due to various lockdowns and restrictions on what and where you can go and the purpose of the visits. In these strange times, we have decided to focus on a few projects and previous visits until some normality returns to Scotland. We look back on two locations we visited earlier in the year, which we live streamed on our Facebook page and groups. The audio you will hear from both was broadcasted live. We will reveal the position of one of these locations, however, the church we will leave undisclosed till our work is finished with that one. Magus Muir, aka Bishop's Wood, is located near Strathkinnis in Fife. It's named after the murder of Archbishop Sharp of St Andrews in the 16th century. It's a 30 acre wood with well maintained pathways and monuments. On the 3rd of May 1679, Archbishop Sharp was travelling home with his daughter from Edinburgh to nearby St Andrews, where he was dragged from his coach and murdered by nine Covenanters at Magus Muir. Local tales now tell of a ghostly sighting here, and one you do not particularly want to see. On certain nights, an old horse coach can be seen speeding along the road from Strathkinnis. Two horse-like creatures with long legs pull it, but the horse-like creatures make no noise. Certainly no hooves and deadly silence. It's reported that a white, frightened face pressed against the window is viewable. The coach will stop by an observer, and a skeletal hand will gesture to the observer. Some report that to go with the coach will mean instant disappearance, or the very sight of this phantom coach will predict death to come. Is this the coach that Archbishop Sharp was dragged from in front of his daughter on Magus Muir? We braved a rather wet and windy night to wander this location in an attempt to speak to any energies still wandering the lands. The first of two religiously haunted locations. Understand there were different times. Oh. We'd like to tell your story, but we'd like you to come Hi. forward and tell us your story. Tell us it from your point of view. Hey. Hey. Okay. Oh. It's quite strong. Hey. I know this is probably your first chance to communicate, Archbishop, but if you come forward towards this equipment. Mm -hmm. Towards these lights, you can see. We found that during paranormal investigations, that an increase in EMF, electromagnetic field, usually results in strange activity occurring in the surrounding environment. We sometimes even boost the environment with devices capable of high EM outputs. This is in the hope that any non-physical energies can use this to assist in spirit communication or activity. We monitor both natural occurring fluctuations and above baseline fluctuations that may be a precursor to possible activity. 
We will at times ask non-physical energies to spike or manipulate these fields in the hope of recording the communication for validation. If you can speak to us, we'll be able to hear you. We might not hear you now, but we'll hear you later. Can you tell us what happened to you here? Mm-hmm. It's like heartbreak. Do you know who attacked you? What religious order were they from? It's not the camera that's doing it. Can you light these lights up for us in the grey box? Can you make it go red? We returned with the full SP team to conduct some live audio sessions and to observe the area for any possible activity. We made our way to the Pyramid Monument, connected to the Archbishop, before heading over to the Covenanters' graves. In the following footage, we share some various audio captures from the night. He's here. Who's here? Me. 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 Should increase. He's a stormy night you are murdered. If you're in the area, could you maybe knock on wood? Maybe you can knock on one of the trees, maybe you can make a noise, maybe you can throw a stone towards us. Okay, two flicker. Can you do that and keep it up to red? Let's take you off the tripod, guys, and show you the area a bit better. I can hear a dog, that's quite close. Well, not really. I think it's done the farm. What are we doing? The farm, yeah. We do still have the graves we can take you over to as well, guys. Just That's to, right, to yeah. Them. I'll take you around this side of the monument as well because you've not seen Harley's got stuff set up here. We've got tea lights with some holy water there. It's come from Plus Cardin, Abbey. Yeah, holy water's from Plus Cardin. Yeah. yeah. I'll just turn the light up for you guys. Starting to rain as well. I think we're going to get a downpour, guys, but we'll keep going. We're going to do a singing bowl, we're going to do a yes no box, we're going to do an S box, and we're going to show you the graves of the Covenanters. Sorry, what's that? Yeah, the speaker's waterproof. Yeah, we've got some rain coming on, so it might be a quite good thing to. Try the a singing bowl, put natural energy out there. Okay. Natural vibration out with the, the natural weather. Condition. Okay, somebody heard a high pitch, it's Maria heard a high pitch noise. Um, Linda thinks they're trying to drive us away. Yeah, we, we feel that. We feel that's the case here. Okay, singing bowl. The dogs are going crazy down at the farm, guys. It's also getting colder. You think something's coming along there? Hmm? You think something's coming along there? I thought I did, but I didn't think it is anyway. 
much I thought I, I keep seeing I'm not seeing it but I'm seeing it like I'm, I'm, I'm imagining not imagining it but I'm seeing it like a in your mind's eye a really really tall hooded figure in a black cloak it's quite it's actually quite eerie I don't feel as relaxed as I did at the start of this. Event. No, it feels different, doesn't it? It feels like it's getting darker around about us. It feels it's getting darker as well. And we're in the middle of nowhere. And the dogs have went quiet. <laughs> and then they start again. <laughs> we are recording audio, guys. We do have some meters still set up to give us indications of the atmosphere. Really heavy and impressive. Like I don't know if anyone else is feeling that. But I'm, I'm actually getting really. I feel like I'm getting my head crushed. And I'm, I'm actually. I keep turning round because I just feel that. There's been something moving a bit up there. I feel that there's something. Been going up there. It's closing in on us now. Whatever's coming in here, it's coming in now. Actually convinced. Yeah. I thought if you like it, really. Anybody there? Looks like it just walked across the path. Just two legs, so I didn't see anything else. I, I can't actually believe it was raining. I mean, it was absolutely beautiful when we came out. Yeah. What was that? Hmm? I'll put my head up. Oh. The thing is, if you look up, there's no clouds. No. It's like it's raining on us. <laughs> Nobody here, guys. There's nobody physical here. Archbishop Sharp, is this the area you were murdered? No. Or <laughs> yes. That could have been a yeah. Uh, Miss you. Miss you. Miss you. Miss you. Holy water in the okay, that was interesting. Ryan just shook the holy water and then we got a, a spike on the meter there. Something maybe manipulating that. Could be natural, but it was good timing. Yeah. Do you want us to use some holy water? <laughs> Somewhere over deep there. Yeah. yeah. You let's put a cross with the holy water on the ground. Yeah. Does anybody in these woods mean us harm tonight? Meter indication. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, do we have any of the covenant spirits yeah. here? We're just going for a look and listen, we're not needing equipment, yeah. are we? Okay. okay it's too exposed out here. It's going to be really exposed out here, guys, but we, want, we really want to take you out and see what you feel about the area. We are right on the, the edge of the woods, as you'll see. Where is it? There. Yeah. Oof. This was fine when we crossed over earlier. 
And now it's extensively waterlogged. So it is, yeah. It's obviously the water has come to you. Yeah. Watch oh god, yeah. Oof. Oh, sinking. Could you get in? No. Or just, you just have to go here? Yeah, you can't ask it. Right, so this is in the middle of the field, guys. As you see, there's uh, right in the middle of a farmer field. And you can see the grave there. I'll, I'll try and come around so you can see better. I brought the Xbox one. You can try that, yeah. I can't believe that rain has come from absolutely nowhere. <coughs> I don't know if you can see the inscription on it. John Waddle. James Cl John Clyde. Thomas Brown. James Wood. Um, And Andrew, someone? Andrew, someone, yeah. maybe. Oh. You want to communicate with us? Coming back. Coming back. Can you give us a name of one of the, the people that are buried here, please? Give me a voice to talk to. Yeah. Could have been here. Yeah, yeah. What's your name, please? What do you want? Whoa! <laughs> it's getting really rough, guys, and wild here. It was at this point we decided to call it a night from this location. We felt we had some excellent results. And on the analysis, we were proven correct. We will share the secret church footage in another video to come soon. Till then, take care.